And alright, so we're on day seven of the experiment, and just like um, our other self said in the information room, we're getting close to the end, so I assume this is the last day and everything. So before we, you know, end the game and everything, let's kind of like uh, explore the world a little bit. I don't know, it's all crumbling apart and everything, so let's see if anything's changed. I think a few things change. I'll see. Let's see. Up you. Oh, I can't believe this. How could that happen while I was away from town? It was fine up to yesterday, and then the festival ended just fine. Why did it suddenly... What should I do now? It kind of feels like no matter where I go, it's pointless. I wonder why. It's as if the entire world is being destroyed or something. Ah, so you're tiny as well. So we're both in dire straits. Well, we'll manage somehow. Our dragon's peak is a lost cause. A few remain there still, but it won't help anything, I'm sure. Having both lost a place to be, what say we travel together? I'd be lonely, personally. Hey, Muscle and Draken, they'll just hang out together. Also, stepping on those things still makes sounds. I wonder if I lose HP on that. I, I, I was thinking I would lose HP from that. I guess not. It just makes a, just a ch sound. Hello? Oh, they're moving out, it seems. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome to Dream Send Trade Incorporated HD branch. Hmm? These boxes? These are, uh... You see, we're evacuating this dream today. So we're per preparing to leave now. Since your dream is just going to keep crumbling, so... Today is the day that will decide whether you're a success or not. I'll root for you. Good luck. Okay. So yeah, it really is just like... The last day. Talk to you. Man, that's heavy. It's always such a pain evacuating. Hmm, all the boxes? See, we're staying so long to this dream today, so you know. Your dream's gonna end soon. We gotta withdraw before anything happens, or we'll be in danger too. But hey, we'll stay until night. You need a helper, don't hesitate to call me for one last display of skill. Hmm, the last chance is to buy these things. How much money? I don't have a lot of money, actually. I used to have a lot of walnuts in this dream. Not so much. So these seeds are probably still expensive. Yeah, <laughs> 85. Act fast! Nah. I can't afford it. Don't you have like a last day discount sale? No? I guess not. Talk to you. And thank you for visiting, customer. Welcome to the Incarnation Market. Uh, oh, same thing. Same thing. I wonder if there's new weapons, actually. This is the final day, right? Mm. Mm, nothing for... Yumi, actually. I was thinking of getting something with Yumi. There's the bazooka. Oh, actually, uh, oh, this is for, um, Raymond and Walter, I guess. Tuning Tone Volume 2 and Tristan Isold, I guess. Is that not Isold? Isn't that the, well, it reminds me of, um, one of the, uh, Knights of the Round Table, right? And also Tristan, obviously, from Fate Go. And everything. Something to do with, like, a boat, I think? Like a... Because I, I think her his, like, uh, his old lore is involving, like, something to do with his wife or something, and something about, like, a boat, like a black sail, a white sail, and whether he sees, like, one or the other, you know, it, uh, caused his death, I guess, because one of the sails, uh, I'm not telling this story very good, but, like, you know, he, he died out of grief because he assumed that his his, like, wife or whatever died. But actually, they got the wrong sale. You know, they sent the wrong message, basically. It's so sad. I think that's the reference to that. Like a tragic... Basically, like a tragic romance. You know? Similar to uh, Romeo and Juliet, I think, is the other weapon for Raymond. Hmm. I don't really know other... I was hoping... I mean, again, there's the bazooka. I actually like punching though. You know, I like the idea of uh, of Yumi just punching everyone. In that sense, let's, let me just form up my party. I assume the birthday dungeon is the same as always. Yeah, I like Yumi in my party. I, don't know. I like her character. Though I, you know, now I'm just like thinking of Russell's dad and everything. He also liked Yumi. But, I don't know. I don't know if she, like, strangle her to death. I don't know how that happened. Anyway. 
that'd be a weird stock. Weird. Uh, workers. Yeah, same thing. Same old, same old. I guess she'll stay with the bazooka. She, again, I like the, the the idea that she's punching everyone in the face. You know, I guess if you want to put on the the brass knuckles, she does get better defense and better speed. So there's that. I don't know. Let's go down. Someone mentioned, uh, I guess, Seaside has been destroyed or whatever. Also, Dragon's Peak. Uh, Walter's moving away as well. Ah, uh, welcome. What is it today? What's on? Today marks day seven of the Happy Dream Rehabilit- Rehabilit- I can never say that word correctly. Happy Dream Rehabilitation- Rehabilita- Rehabilitation. It's so weird because, you know, when you say rehab by itself, you say rehab, right? But you say the four words, rehabilitation, not rehabilitation, rehabilitation. Anyway, Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program. You're the first to make it this far. Hmm? Ah, uh, the boxes. I'm preparing to leave this dream within the day. Your experiment should reach a conclusion today. I'm leaving before I'm caught in the dream's collapse. If you become a success and are spared death, we may meet in reality. But all, that all depends on you. Okay. Yeah, Walter is not, yeah, I think his profile, he's a lot younger than he seems. I would assume he's like a full grown adult. But no, he's actually somewhat young. I don't remember how old he is exactly. 18, I think? 19? I don't know. He looks older. Looks like someone who's been through a lot, you know? There's blood over there. It's on the right side, I assume the caddy, yeah. Caddy place, oh. That place slightly distorted. Let's go down, I guess? Yeah. Everything's changed here. Everything got a negative filter. An empty can, well. The festival's over now. This town will sleep now. The festival's over, everyone is vanishing. The festival's over without a trace. Okay. The festival's over. Return to blank now. Can I go in here? No. I guess not. The festival's over, but it never really even started. The festival's over now because it was no longer needed. The festival's over. Bedtime for everyone. And festival's over because you thought. I'm sorry that someone like me could enjoy a festival. Oh, die? Okay, good. A oh, bunch of these things. We saw those in the... I think the, the rabbit world? The festival's over since you didn't need it anymore. You didn't need your no stinking festival. This place as well is, is over and nothing left to do, is there? Nothing left to do. The bed stomach is torn open, eh? Weird. Die. Shin Shine. Can't go left. Hmm. Or is it all? Oh, I should. I was like, thinking going to the left. Well, the left is fine, I guess. Hey, we could probably go to the resort. You know, it's like just hang out there forever. Just never leave this dream. Okay, Russell. The fuss. The festival's over. So nothing to do here, I guess. Just, just you know. Creepy imagery, which is like in the game. Segoa often likes to do that. It's creepy imagery. Let's go in here, I guess. <laughs> Evil laugh. Alright, there's a balloon here, which means maybe there's random battles. I don't know. And it's got rainbow sprinkles. Bloody blankets. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there's battles. Your fault. Nice. Your fault, eh? Bloodlust. Sure. We learned that last time. Uh... Actually, I shouldn't do that. Yumi has like very low MP, so I shouldn't really waste MP. But then again, well, it's not matter now. Happy birthday! Yeah, everyone just attack. What is this anyway? Like a weird fish thing? Oh, that's a lot of damage. My god. I assume it has low HP, right? Just die. Okay, good. How much walnuts? 
I mean, I guess if you want to grind, you can grind here. That's what you can do. I'm gonna use these trial pills. Nobody really use them. Let's see. Oh, well, this house is distorted. Can I go in? Hey, will you show me hospitality? Oh, okay. I can't believe this. Why must we noble dragon have to experience this? I hate it that I should leave here and bow my head to some other racist town. Yes, we are dragon much more powerful and unique than other races. So then why? Me. Eesh, what trouble. Monsters wander around outside. Entrances are blocked up. It seems everyone except those here have all died. Just why has this happened? In any event, we have no choice but to leave here to keep living. My wife may loathe it, but I'll have to convince her. Even the house is like slightly disordered. But mostly fine. I feel sad at the thought of this couple experiencing painful things. These people were kind to us. This is why it saddens me. I am a flower from funeral. However, if those people are going to die here, I will bloom here again. Bloom here again? Does that mean like any time? Well, maybe the idea of these flowers is that they only bloom in dead towns or something? I don't know. This town is collapsing. To repay my debt to this couple, I have come from Funeral to pick them up. Now come to Funeral. Funeral is a peaceful place. Please. They cannot die like this. This couple has given us life. They will not die like this. Ah, my precious medicine shop. Inherited from my grandfather. What's the meaning of this? No, more important than that, that has my life. What am I to do now? Have the other towns not also been getting infested with monsters? Is it hopeless wherever I go? Mm, not you. Ah, uh, welcome. With how things are outside, please take the opportunity to relax here and heal your fatigue. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to stay here, but to the very last, I'll offer hospitality with my husband. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. Oh, what is the meaning of this? Why has this befallen our beautiful dragon's peak? But in times like this, my practically a sickness spirit of hospitality must be of use. Well, will you rest here? Here. Thus, I've eaten the last of their food, and they all starve. Mm. Is your fatigue cured? Whatever happens to Dragon's Peak, we intend to stay here to our last. Please come again if you wish. I always say that word about it. Dragon's... It's not just Dragon's Peak. It's Dragon's Peak. It's a plural. Dragon's Peak. Dragon's Peak. Mm. There you go, yeah. This place is all corrupted and everything. Anything to look at? Lock here. The treasure chest, though. Your fault. Your fault. It's all your fault. Uh, okay, fine. Just, just do whatever. Just murder it as fast as I can. Do as much... Because now I know I can heal right there. So I don't have to worry about using items to recover my MP. Just murder. Did I use the wrong... I thought I used Snipe with the uh, Kabasa. I don't know if I used the wrong thing there. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's dead. Can give that. Holy Guide. Okay. I assume, yeah, that's the, the holy attack, not the healing one. I always mix up, you know, it's very similar. Like, the one that heals you is the prayer guide, I think, right? And the holy one does, like, a holy attack. When you think holy, you think healing, right? Mm -hmm. The different. Let's see, more bloody blankets, everything's more warped still, can go in here, hello, anyone here? No, no one. Oh, there's a present though. It's a green bath cell, well I could use that in the resort I guess. And if you really wanted to, you could grind a lot of stats actually, at the resort. You know, by eating food you increase your stats, and by bathing with the bath salts you can actually uh, increase your maximum HP and MP various levels. And you can just keep doing that until infinity, I guess. You're only limited by your walnuts. You know, you have to buy everything with your walnuts. So you can just grind here, for example, and just keep doing that until we have 999 and everything, maybe. I don't know. I wonder if there's a boss around here, or is it just monsters? Because now I'm thinking, well, actually, maybe I should save Yumi's. MP. Let me just... <laughs> it's free, right? So... I always do this. This is what happens. When I play any kind of game, an RPG, that allows you free healing. 
You know, ever since the very beginning, since the dawn of Pokemon, you know what I do? I fight a trainer, and when my Pokemon are slightly injured, they lose, they lost like one HP. I go all the way back to the Pokemon Center, and then heal them up, and then go to the next part. That's what I do. No, no. What have you come for? You can't save anyone now. Does your heart ache? Yet the creator and distorter of this world, torturer of its inhabitants, is you, Russell. Huh? Anthem before they get you. Use uh, bloodlust. So many abilities. Uh, yeah. Let me just attack. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be a boss around here or anything to fight. Maybe, maybe not. Snipe and birthday. Birthday. Hey, good. Then you leveled up. Good. Uh, can I go in the well? No, oh, it's it's filled with blood. All right. That's not very clean. I don't know if I want, if I want a blood well. Ah, oh, what are these? Okay, these look different. These look different. You me? You can use your uh actually Does the bazooka hit AoE normally? Uh eh, sure, use range bazooka. I mean I never got a chance to use her like AoE stuff. You know, in the proper battle. Phew! That's a lot of damage. Okay. I mean, I assume these guys are low health now. Come on, kill them. These weird, like, droopy tree things. It's like the tree without the, the branches or leaves. You know, it's, I guess, the bark. You know. Ooh, what do I do? Why does this happen to Dragon's Peak? Or Dragon's Peak? Dragon's Peak? Dragon's Peak? Oh, uh, when did you? Uh, aren't you the one who helped defeat the Dragon Squirrel? You're strong, aren't you? So just like them, please save us again. If you can't do that, if you can't, I can't. You can't. Ah. Oh, ah. Right, uh, okay. There's a boss, sort of. All right. Let's see. I assume increasing defense is probably a good idea. Probably. Uh, stand back, Tabasa. You will. I don't know what the weakness for these things are. I don't know. Just, just do damage in that case. Veggies, lower, lower, lower defense, lower defense. Evaded. <laughs> ah! Vanilla loss and hallucinations. Oh yeah, did I forget to equip the dolls? By the way, I should do that. I didn't do that yet. Snipe. And uh, just use birthday. I don't know. This is what happened because of your guilt. We who were born from you are warped by your pain. You'll kill us, won't you? It's your fault that we were born, that we existed, or we will die. You. Well, I'm gonna kill my guilt, literally. And maybe that'll help, right? No? Can you just do that? Can you just kill your own emotions? I guess, I mean, metaphorically you can. But like in the RPG battle, you know? Bloodless. Uh, da, 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 snipe. Grenadier can't do anything else, so just attack. There you go. And probably... Oh, let me... There's more dialogue, though. I was gonna say, probably, um... It's funny, well, it's probably because, you know, Enro is an RPG maker game, but also the reason why, like in this dream world, by the way, that everything is kind of like an RPG that we level up, you know, we get experience, get new equipment and everything. I mean, most likely, lore-wise, the reason why we do all this is because uh, Russell um, played a lot of games, you know, when he was a kid. And he still is a kid, but like when he was younger. And so he interprets his dream world as like an RPG, right? You know, also other than the fact that 
probably this game was meant to be an RPG in the first place, you know, as developed by the developer. But also, you know, there's a reason why it's kind of like an RPG, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Anyway. I don't want to die. don't want to die. What were we born for? Bleh. Dead. Okay. There goes high. Let's let's rush the door. Rush the lock. Virginia's taking damage. Can I heal that somehow? Do you have like refresh? Does anyone have refresh? <laughs> no? No one has refresh. Or well actually no that's revive actually. I thought pity was refresh. Never mind. You know what? I have a lot of awakening pills, so might as well use it. Okay. Well that's I guess that's that. I don't know if there's anything else to do around here. Uh, I will run away. I guess everyone here now. I assume, by the way, every time the, those shadows, those shadow creatures kind of like pseudo jump scare you on your screen, I assume that means uh, Russell has increased his guilt level or something. I don't know if it matters at this point. Russell seems pretty guilty so far, you know? At this point, so I don't know if he needs even more guilt. There you go. I guess that's it. I don't know if there's anyone else or anywhere else to explore. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm trying to think of any other areas, unless I can fast travel. I guess let me check one more thing, just to, just to check fast travel. If I can fast travel anywhere. Probably not. It's probably the way it's coded, you know, the way it's programmed. Probably isn't a way to fast travel anywhere anymore. For like gameplay reasons, but also story reasons. Oh, actually, you can. Oh. Hi, hello, Russell. Do you feel welcome to Dream Sand Guys HD branch? All right, right. I forgot to say, but Fair is going to be leaving your dream today, Russell. This dream started breaking down a lot thanks to your guilt, so it's dangerous to stay here longer. The Happy Dream Rehab Program is coming to a climax too. Do your best and succeed. Okay. Talk about this? I assume, yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's all the places we've been, I guess. Okay, so you can teleport. Let me just save. Can I teleport back to the gray area? Ah, okay, so the places you can't go to, they've already been destroyed, so there's no point. So I think we're good, though. We can simply go to the dungeon at this point. Ooh. This music is always, is always goofy as always. Or an orange balloon on the left side, actually. I assume there is. Right? No, there isn't. Okay, never mind. Maybe there is that when I enter, but hold on. Let me just equip my party members. Kind of inconvenient. Every time you leave town, Russell leaves alone, right? Because when you go back to town, all your party members, they all leave. I have to reassemble them every time. I wish there was a balloon right outside of town. I mean, there is in this tree, but you know, it's like I'm lazy. There's like a few more steps I have to do. I want it to like be right outside of town. The moment I leave the screen, it's just right there. Anyway, that's everyone, right? Everyone's full health, full MP. I got plenty of items that I haven't used a lot because I bought a lot during that special dungeon. You know, the compass dungeon, but I didn't really use much of it because uh, I thought we were going to fight a boss. As it turns out, <laughs> the secret of b behind that dungeon is that there is no boss. Anyway. So, creepy lady thing. Four hands. I see the red nails, and on the other hand over there has a ring. I don't know, what are we... what's going on? Let's see. Oh, okay, never mind. I have to get the mayor's... I have to get the mayor's permission first. I forgot about that. Get, mayor's, uh, get the mayor's permission. Let's see. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, expecting the nest. Of course I'll take part. I see. Thank you. I believe you would say so. However, it seems not many can go investigate that place. The entrance is small and there's little light. I leave the selection to you. Can you head to investigate the nest as soon as you're ready? Also, here are some meager gifts of, of support. As I can't fight myself, would you please take them? Perfect pills, perfect capsules, uh, lemonize, homo rudies, and 50 walnuts. Well, 
sorry that this is the most I can do. Please, we're counting on you. Okay. Are you really up for it? Just in case, you should bring a fever medicine, a thermometer, and warm clothes some water. Am I worrying you too much? Sorry, I didn't mean to imply I don't trust you or anything. Anyway, even if you don't go that far, you should be well prepared. You don't know what might happen. Okay. Some dialogue I can get from these people as well after accepting the quest. <sighs> Investigating that monster's nest is, is obvious, but it will be perilous. Please take care. As soon as you're ready, head for the nest at once. Those who you take carefully. I can only wait for your return, and I'll do whatever I'm able to provide support. I have prepared a few facilities that may be useful in front of the nest. Please, make use of them. Oh, okay. But now probably there's an orange balloon in front of the weird nest thing. Let's see. Let me just talk to one first. See how they feel about going to the nest. Time to invade that nest, huh? Nice, I'm itching to go. You're gonna take me along, right? Besides that though, the other towns seem to be in a bad way too lately, you aware? Yeah, I did visit them. Once this thing's all over, we ought to give them support too. What in Sam's Hill go is going on? <laughs> what in Sam's Hill is going on? I wonder how it's translated in Japanese, I don't know. Because usually when there is like a stereotypical, you know, cowboy accent in, uh, in an anime, it's really they just have like a Kansai dialect or whatever. You know, it's just like a like a dialect in Japanese but in, in this situation Yumi is actually a cowgirl so. hmm, it's you as I thought you're joining in the investigation despite having just fallen ill I will of course help if necessary for this town and for dear friends I will accept any trial there's nothing to fear now you'll be all right I'm certain I swear to the Lord all right. you know I have like a off-screen playthrough that uh, I use different characters with. Dogma is pretty strong, actually, if you give him the Type 2 weapon. You know, if you give him the sword and everything. He basically just turns into like a physical attacker. He just hits everything with his sword. But I'm not using him now. He's not really using a sword in this playthrough, however. I didn't really, le I didn't really level him up. I'm only using the ones I've uh, been using. Anyway. So I heard you're helping to investigate the nest. Sure enough, you're way gutsier than you look. But listen. If we don't feel well this time, it tell someone right away, okay? It's okay, no matter what happens, we won't hate you or anything, got it? You won't hate me, <laughs> you won't hate me, eh? As I've murdered your real selves. Talk to you. Good morning, Russell. Time to inspect the nest at last. Be sure you're well prepared. Right, so it's time to embark on our investigation of that thing. I'm unusually nervous. Well, I feel you'll be all right. You've helped us also. My, my. When you came to town, I thought you're you only a child, but you're a fine, reliable man. As if you're the god of this world or something. I don't know, it's weird. Let me just double check. Anything you want to buy? Like two more of these, maybe? I don't know. Two more of that. It's like I'll have an even round number, you know? Buy more of those. Buy one of that. Drink it slowly with hot water. Well, we don't have time for that, Kintaro. Oh, Russell, I heard. The mayor asked you to do some internal investigation? That means you're a captain, Russell. Wow, that's so cool. Captain, I'm always on standby, around to go. Salute. Oh, don't salute too hard. Your head's gonna fall off. Anyway. I don't wanna... <laughs> She's gonna say the dream's gonna end. Nah, nah, I don't really care anyway. I don't know. Buy some of these. Buy a few of these. And I'll buy a few of these. And I'll buy a few of these. Right. Hey, thanks. Not like I care anything. I'm already dead. Alright, talk to the Basa. Oh, it's Russell. Thought you might take part in investigating the nest. I'm honestly kind of scared, so I don't really want to go, but if you need me, of course I'll help. Call me up. It's all for the town, after all. And for our bright future, let's give it our all. Ooh, there's no monkeys. The monkeys are gone. Weird. Hmm. Where are the monkeys? They're all gone. Have they escaped? Oh no. No animals over here either. But anyway, I guess we're ready. Okay, now we're ready to go and do the thing, right? I can also talk to my other self. He'll probably say, oh, you, you know, 
time to go to the front of the dungeon. Do you remember where, Russell, right? It's right there. And I assume there's gonna be an orange balloon. So I don't have to go to the tree again. I can just go here, right? Yeah, there. Okay. You love over here, and there's no telephone as well. Good. Alright. Yumi's assistance. Get uh, Tabasa. And Gardenia. That's my final party. 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 Everyone wear your dolls, you know? So now you're immune to all sorts of status effects. Double check our HP and MP, and yeah, I think we're good. Let's go in. Into the weird crotch. We. Okay. Hmm. A clean cradle. There's no one inside it, but there's a faint warmth left. Alright. Huh. A beer bottle. Foul smelling alcohol pours out of it. And I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but obviously. Russell's dad, being an alcoholic, he probably, you know, was very abusive as well, physically. Eh, you know, just do as much damage as I can, really. Snipe. You know, save Gardenia's MP, though. Literally, literally, fight, literally fighting beer bottles. Hmm? I mean, this is where, uh, I guess, Russell's dad's spirit went in, so I assume this is about his dad, maybe, I don't know. Something's inside. Oh, it's uh, the eye thing, all right. I don't really use that item. It just keeps monsters out of you, but you actually want to fight monsters, right, for the most part. And even when I get sick of the monsters, I just run away from them, you know, if I get sick of them. So you don't really need the, the eye thing to repel the monsters, really. It's not really necessary. Surging with red liquid, we were your final weapon. Oh yeah, or like, you know, killing his dad. He used the beer bottle, most likely. Now smelling alcohol. No places to go. No inside. Present? Perfect pill, alright. Do 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 do. Let's see, we can go on the left. Squish. Okay, squish. What do you mean squish? You mean the sound that it made when <laughs> we smacked our dad or something? Uh, squish. That was just that. Your guilt, just beginning to throb, is coming to kill you. Dodge my attack? That's cheating. We just dodge our attacks though. You can't, you can't, you can't kill me. I dodge your attacks. Dummy. Hmm, I'll just double check. So I can go up as well. So that's the entrance down there. You know, I want to check everything, right? Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, back, the boss has snipe. Kill all these eyeball things. There is a lot of uh, eye imagery in Russell's dream world, for some reason. Everything involves eyes. Like someone looking at him, I guess. Maybe. We'll go up here. I wonder where this leads. Toddle and Squish, alright. Um, Bloodless. Well, we use so much MP. I'm gonna not be able to use. My attacks later. I always forget, no, I, I have items. I have items. I always forget about that. Just use items. Hmm. Okay. Did a lot of damage. But I think we're fine. Your guilt just beginning to move is coming to kill you. Yeah, like, you read that dialogue? Just all the weird, like, face with a feet. Go 
on here? Hello? The end credits won't stop rolling. After it's over, they just keep going. That rhymes. Around piece of kelp? Alright. The nurse's shoes. I didn't see that actually. Now it blends in the background. And some alcohol. Hmm, that's it? Nothing here? Just a random NPC? NPC? My bazooka, the basa while firing, and kick your shower. Which actually is not enough to kill these things. I think it would be. So powerful at this point, but I guess not. At least in one round, you know. Oh, die. Die, 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 die. Level up even further. Amazing. Alright, let me just use some camp soon. Hmm, what's over here? This goes back all the way down. Does it like connect in like a circle? I assume it does, right? Yeah, okay, so it kinda connects in a circle. So up there is just like a because I'm trying to like imagine it in my head. Like a little pseudo map I'm envisioned. We already went south, I think, so I guess the only way to go is this way. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm already sick of you guys. I'm just gonna leave and go over here. Let's see. I probably need the levels, though. I'm probably gonna fight, like, a boss or something. Beer earrings? I already got plenty of those. Uh, that's a dead end, though, so I guess not? I don't know. Maybe I'm not in the right place. Where's the, uh, let me just use this. You know, they gave us a thing, right? So might as well use it. Let's see. Where haven't I been? Nothing left in size. I already went there. Um, I'm confused. Because that's the exit. I already went this way. I'm annoying to use these things. Every 20 seconds, because I have to go back to the menu and all the time. Hmm, is there an entrance I'm missing? No, oh, okay, just double checking the room. So that's that. Oh. Huh. Maybe, well, actually, well... Maybe I missed something over here. Maybe there's a... Well, there was probably a way forward over here, right? Maybe I just... I, didn't, I forgot about it. Okay. So over there is an item on the left. And probably the way to continue is this way. Okay. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me to envision the pathways to this place. It's a literal maze. Anyway, hmm. a faded photo is posted up. The woman in this photo is smiling as an unfamiliar man holds her. Hmm. An unfamiliar man holds her. Oh, uh, probably grandpa. Maybe. I'm thinking like. Probably the woman in the photo is our mom. An unfamiliar man is like someone we don't know, so probably like grandpa's doing. Someone who already died when we were born, or I'm not sure. Faded photos are posted up. They're family photos with a child's face blotted out. Or the child's, child's face? You weren't born by choice. You ruined my life. Mom always said the same thing. Isn't it stupid? If you can't love me anyway, at least kill me once I was born. So Russell was born out of like a mistake, I guess. Hmm. Wah. The baby in the photo is sleeping very peacefully in the cradle. You know, maybe that's why. I mean, obviously, I remember in the uh, Blood Rabbit dungeon. You know, Russell always said, oh, and "There's all blood here." He always said, "Like, what's the point of living? You know, why was I born?" Probably that was fueled by his mother, I guess, as well. Why was I even born? Your head filled with such guilt, you see me and it's all you can think about. Okay. Faded photo. The family in the uh, photo is smiling at the glance happily. The boy in the photos has his head hung, filling with a hat in his hands. The baby in the photo is sleeping very peacefully in the cradle. There's an emotionless boy off in the corner of a class photo. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a balloon here, but I don't, know, I don't need it, I guess. I already have my party. The woman in the photo is smiling on a familiar man holds her. Oh, and you deeply hated your parents, so you killed them. Okay, so I wonder, yeah, okay, so I was wondering about that. You remember that Russell, when he came onto the scene when uh, his dad was strangling Yumi, uh, he uh, killed his dad by hitting him in the head with a beer bottle. I wonder what happened to his mother, you know? Uh, the last thing we heard from her, from that scene anyway, was that she gasped. I guess she was like, ah, oh, you know? But I, I was wondering if the father killed her or Russell did. I guess Russell killed him? Hmm. But what about the others? They didn't do anything to spur your hate, much less your murder. Yeah, Russell has done a lot. 14 years, has multiple counts of murder. And arson. I don't know how many he killed by burning the church, by the way. He's killed each, each and every one personally. But I don't know if he killed only Cody and Dogma in the church. I don't know. He could have killed a lot more people, but I'm not sure if they mentioned it, though. Because it could have been like, you know, only Cody and Dogma died in the church and everyone else kind of got away. But I don't know. It's not like he locked the church or anything. So probably some people at least got away. And the fate photos posted up. The woman in the photo is smiling as unfamiliar. Yeah, I already read that. Russell, open your eyes. Look behind you. The things you're walking around with are all just corpses. Ah, uh, my party members. There's Yumi. Yumi's around. A doll that resembles someone. A doll that resembles someone. No, and my balloon is gone. A pop balloon. Yumi's still around. <laughs> At least Yumi's still here. What you had was a fear of the unknowable. The things you didn't know were the beautiful, kind things in the world. The fear of those unknowns turned to aggression. Oh, more corpses. A doll that resembles someone. No, no, no. Dogma and Cody, they're both dead. They got burnt alive though, not really bloody. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Same things. What? Stop tormenting all the people in this world? What are you talking about? Isn't you tormenting all the people in this world? Isn't it your own guilt? Ah, oh, damn it. Yumi's dead too. And Kantara, he got stabbed. Uh, nurse fell down. And of course, she got strangled. And her hat's missing. Can I take the hat? No? Okay. Well, I have no one in my party. Maybe I should have brought Walter and Raymond. They're the only real people. So, like, they probably don't leave the party. Oh, well. I have no choice now. Good to go on myself. A child is holding a small rabbit and, and smiling. Oh, yes. My only friend. Aside from Chris, I guess. I wonder if Chris was the bunny. You know that? Yeah, I don't know it was a metaphor. Well, that's our mother, I guess. <laughs> well, time to fight mother, the indecent one. She seems to be missing all. She seems to be missing all her hair. Uh. Uh. Doubt. Did you really think you'd be love in the dream? What a joke, you idiot! I only hold up my hand to those who give me pleasure. Ah, feels good. I feel good. Okay. I was thinking that you know, uh, Russell's mother was like a prostitute and everything, but I was wondering if it's by choice or I don't know. Maybe she is just you know. Neglectful in that sense. He just didn't care about Russell. Not sure. I don't know what was like Russell's mom and dad. What the relationship was like. like whether it was it was abusive. You know, probably it was abusive. You know? I don't know. Let's see, fear, revive. Anything you can do. You can anger. You can turn down your sad, or rather, turn up your sadness, so your attack goes down. A terrifying look. Oh no. Increase defense. Complaining? <laughs> She's complaining. Trial pill? That has a lot of damage. Okay, well, let me just give me another trial pill. 
Okay, well that's not doesn't help. All right, let me just get a standard pill instead. Okay, let's see. Red eye. Mine down. All right. Let me just heal again. I guess. Gotta use better, better pills now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Falter? Can I make you falter? Ah, no, evaded. Okay, fine. I'll just use my normal attack. Ow. More bloodlust. You never should have been born. To hell with decency. To hell with decency! Oh, forget about that. More! I want to do things to feel good. Somebody sleep with me! Alright. I also wonder if, um... I don't, know, I don't know if she was always this way. But probably because of the abuse from Russell's dad. Because I feel like the origin is Russell's dad, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what the story is, necessarily. But like, um, probably drugs were involved. You know how the caddy dungeon? Because everything's a metaphor in Russell's dream world, probably. And the caddies are probably, they represent his mom, you know? Being addicted to drugs and everything, probably. And that probably, uh, made her... Seek, uh, things... Or, like, prioritize things over Russell, you know? Is the idea? Attack. All I can do is attack now, I have no more MP. So I guess I can take the capsule. Is it worth it, DPS-wise? Okay, fine. Capsule. Yeah. Don't embrace me. It hurts. Stop it. Hey, up. Yeah, this is only me. I, 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 I actually wonder, like, if you probably bring Walter and Raymond. Because they're not corpses, right? They're not dead. So probably they'll come with you and help you with this battle or something. Russell, you really were just dying for your mother to love you, weren't you? Even if it was only a dream, you wanted your head stroked. You wanted to be kissed. You wanted to be hugged. Very well. I'll hug you, Russell. Because in this dream... Even kindness is only there to ensnare you. The monsters vanished. <laughs> A lot of laughing. Ah, oh, I can't save. Oh no. I can interact. Emotionless boy. Unfamiliar man. Hmm, guess that's it. Nothing else to interact with, so I'll interact with this carriage. Uh, the baby is sleeping peacefully. Oh, that's it? Oh, nothing else, okay. Uh, is that what you call it? By the way, what's that you call it? Carriage? Baby carriage, right? That's what you call it? Anyway. Hmm. Are you asleep? Oh. Dolls. Literal dolls. An unsettling doll. An empty cradle. Okay, cradle, not carriage. I don't want to say carriage. They both start with C-R. It's Cradle. I don't know why, because I've seen it multiple times. I've seen the word Cradle multiple times. I temporarily forgot what they were called. Anyway. Okay, smile. More smiling. Even more smiling. Oh, yes. Blue. Haha, <laughs> hee hee. Balloon. I can't even bring Raymond you know, and uh, Walter, even if I could. Or even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Oh, that's gone. Well done, Russell. How do you feel? Ah, sorry to startle you. I figured things would be wrapping up soon, so I came to check. Now then, that's all the sins you committed. How was it? Did you learn a little guilt? Oh, are you worried for the others? Don't worry. They're all fine. Your investigation to the cradle has been made a solitary effort. They won't vanish on you because they still have a role left. A very, very important role to let you succeed in this experiment. Let's save the details until we're back in town. You seem to be tired. I'll be in the usual location. Once you're mentally prepared, come talk with me. I'll be waiting, Russell. Alright, evil me. But who, who is the real evil one, you know? 
Okay. Well, we can save now, right? And it's probably the point of no return at this point, I think, yeah. Cut you. Okay. Is this like a uh, hint that means like there's no more battles or something? <laughs> Not in move for diversions. No? Okay, we can't go anywhere else. We just have to head back to town. The only way we can go. I have no more MP though, so let me just do that and then. Alright. Now we're ready. Russell, return to town. The end of your dream is coming to a close. Oh, and they're gone too. Uh, probably at this point, you know. They said before, uh, Raymond and Walter, probably they've left at this point as well. So if they were in your party, they'll, they'll probably set up something like, Oh, time to leave. Sorry, you have to, you have to leave you to yourself, I guess. Leave you to your own devices. Can I check their houses? Anyone here? Ah, Russell. I heard from the informant. Why do you do something so rash? Are you hurt at all? Are you okay? Really? Sheesh, I was so worried. I'm very mad, you know? Though I doubt that's very scary. Well, I don't know. Mario, you being mad actually is pretty scary because you're just you're just a freaking yander. Russell, you're certainly strong, but please learn to depend on people. I'll try harder too, so... Okay, so they're fine, I guess. They're still in our dreams, uh, you know. Ah, uh, Russell. You're right. You truly do things which could be heroic or reckless. I'm not sure. In any event, your deeds are superb. I wonder, at this rate, might you be the next mayor? Hmm? No, that's not necessarily a joke. Well, think it over, will you? Okay. Let me just, you know, walk around. Gotta mentally prepare myself, so I have to talk with all my friends. My fake friends that don't really exist. Really just my victims. Russell, he did something the real rash today, didn't you? Heard from the informant kid. Going to that creepy place all by yourself? We ain't sane. You know how were we all got? But well that's you. Must have been some reason for it. Uh, so uh oh well I guess. Besides, and up being that you did a good real good uh, did a job real good. Heck, I should be thanking you. Well too bad you can't, you know, thank me for saving your life because I couldn't. You were already dead. Oops. I was scratching my eye. I wasn't looking at the game. I was just like meandering around. Talk dog. There you are, Russell. I received word of your foolishness from that suspicious informant. Embarking into unknown territory alone is much too reckless. Those who do not value life should be punished. <laughs> Those who do not value life, eh? It's lucky you were unhurt, unhurt but please, do things and these things no more. It's bad for my heart. Well, you don't have to worry about that when you're burning to death. Let's see. I guess let's go over here. Let's talk to the rest of the people. Talk through to the rest of the people. Virginia? Any neck pains? Hey, Russell, what's this about? I heard you checked the nest by yourself. Are you hurt or anything? Yeah, that's good. I mean, no, it's not good. Why didn't you invite me? That's way too heartless. Well, so what happened in there? I'm curious. Tell me in detail later. Okay, just double check the dialogue. Guess not. No other special dialogue. Over here. Hello, Kentaro. Ah, uh, Russell. Are you alright? I heard from the informant. Goodness, such rashness. I never thought you'd go to inspect it alone. Even I was terrified. You'll shorten my lifespan with that. Shorten your lifespan? <laughs> so it's just oh, all this dialogue is ironic. Still, it seems the nest has been destroyed. You are powerful indeed. Was there ever any need for worry? Oh, oh. I talked to Cody and her like strawberry cake house. There's that idiot Russell. I heard from the informant. Going to such a bizarre place all on your own. What were you thinking? Even if we're fine, that's not... I can't believe that informant either. If he knew, he could have told us. And we would have come to help. You're really so stupid. Just unbelievable. Baka. She really is Sundere. She's a stu Sundere... Uh, stereotype.
All right, let's talk to Tabasa as well. Tabasa! Jeez, I heard from the informant. You went to investigate that nest all by yourself? You're seriously just... Do you not know fear or what? Well, I'm glad you're unhurt and all. And it's destroyed now, right? The informant told me all about it. So, what was even inside? What? Don't want to say. Huh. Well, must have been some real terrifying stuff. Have mercy. Hang out. That's all the people I assume Faria. Yeah, Faria's gone. No one in there anymore. That's it. Save our game and let's brace ourselves. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going into the, the thing. The end credits won't stop rolling. After it's over, they just keep going. Was the rhyming intentional? It just sounds like a song. And credits won't stop rolling after it's over. They just keep going. Hey Russell, I've been waiting. I'm about to tell you something very important. Are you mentally prepared? Oh, hold on, let me just drink some water. Mm -hmm. To prepare myself. <sighs> Alright. I am ready. Got it. Well then, this is the last information I can give you, so listen closely. In my opinion, Russell, you felt sufficient guilt about killing everyone now. It hurts, doesn't it? This world is built to collapse the more you blame yourself. As long as you have that guilt, the collapse can't be stopped. This dream will slowly warp and eventually disappear. Thus, before that happens, you must, by your own hand, put an end to this world. That is probably the best. Hmm. What should I do, or... No, I don't want to leave. Hmm, you know what? Let's choose, I mean, I let's choose the bad option first. I believe this is, yeah, this is the branching path for what you, you can do in this game now. How about, I don't want to leave. Russell, I understand how you feel, but realize, you know, it means you'll have to watch as this world, as everyone's destroy, destroyed by your, uh, you know it means you have to watch as this world, as everyone is destroyed because of your guilt. And know that will someday vanish. Think it over. If you don't end it tonight, you'll only suffer. And if your real body won't wake up, you'll be lost to the dream. That's fine by me. Got it. If you insist, I can't stop you. Well then, Russell, just go back to bed like usual. And have a good sleep. And we'll meet again in this town. We'll all live in this world. Until said world completely distorts and disappears. I suppose I might as well accompany you to the end too. Let's stick together, Russell. Okay. Hold on, I'm picking something out of the game. Alright. If you insist on this, I won't say anything more. This is your dream. You can do as you like. Well then, Russell, let's go back to bed like usual and have a good sleep. And we'll meet again. Okay, and the company? You're not really a company. You're not really walking? Or are you in my party? I don't know. Hmm. Can't really do anything. Other than, uh, just walk. Can I talk to one, anyone else before I leave? I wonder if I can. Actually, or is it the same dialogue? I'm not sure. Yeah, same dialogue. It's just the same dialogue. Don't worry about it. Tell me in detail later. Well, we're all gonna die, so it doesn't matter. We're just gonna be in an eternal slumber forever. Hooray. Can I go inside? I'm trying to press the menu button. It doesn't work, so I assume you can't, you can't save everything. So I just go inside. Hey, can you hear me? Ah, this guy is hopeless. Should have run out of medicine long ago, but he just won't wake up. Oh well, you're right. Oh, what a shame. He has something going going there. And avoided. I bet lots of people wouldn't want to leave the dream when it gets to the very end. Hey, we better paint over the name of this room now. No 
one valuable medicine delivered by mistake to somebody who failed the experiment. Oh yeah, good point. That stuff's expensive. Now, let's get going. Gotta report to the higher-ups. Let's see, his number was... Alright. Are we just... We're just stuck in the dream forever. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like a very good ending, but... It doesn't sound like a very good... Time, you know, but... I assume these are the same. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey Russell, morning. How goes it? Thought I'd never wake up. I was getting worried. Uh, I thought well, I thought I'd never wake up. You never wake okay. I was getting worried you were feeling sick again. Guess that wasn't the case? Hey, for what you've been doing, sleeping is nothing. Anyway, you free today? There's been trouble in the other towns. Want some help patrolling? damage over there is more serious than I thought. You gotta do something about it. Ah, sorry about that. Guess he ain't doing too hot, huh? Can't force you in that case. Oh, you sure? I'd be reassured to have you. Thanks. Okay, let's get going. I'm counting on you, Russell. Ah, everything's just like normal. That's good. It's alright. This is fine. Good morning, everyone. You have to use red paint? I assume, yeah, that's, that's our, uh, our room there. You see other names as well. Crossed out. You really have to, like, use... You're leaving a mess there as well. Anyway, true end to Cowardly Dream. So that's technically the, the second ending. But it seemed like the, you know, the worst ending, so I want to pick that one first. Probably the other ending might be something else. So there you go. That's true end number two. Already, already, uh, I feel like seeing all the ends. There's other endings to get, and let me show you, actually. Before I check the other ending. I don't know if the other ending is a happy ending, but we'll see, I guess. But there's another ending that you can get. Early on. So I'll just show you right now. I think you go over here, right? Yeah. So I'll show you over here. It's gonna be the same scene as before. So this is day five. What happens when you don't get enough guilt by day five? They mentioned it before. If you don't get enough guilt, the end ends. Uh, the game ends early, actually. And the only difference, I guess, is a few things. I mean, the big, the biggest thing is that the town is not as distorted. You know, if your guilt level is uh, not really high. So I just want to show this ending real quick because it is another ending that you can get in this game. I believe there's three endings in total, actually. But here we go. So this is the normal ending. Good morning, Deranged Mania. How was day five of your happy dream? Now, I have some unfortunate news. Brace yourself. The happy dream rehabilitation program you are taking part in will be discontinued. Do you know why that is? According to the committee's periodic guilt measurement, your guilt is yet too low. So it's been decided that this method is having no effect. In short, no matter what happens, you will not regret. The committee has concluded that continuing the experiment is a waste of money and medicine. Thus, you have lost all paths available to you, short of hollowly killing time in a cell until your execution is carried out. That's all. Forever. So then, Deranged Maniac, thank you for participating in the experiment. Goodbye. This is a deluxe suite for the test subjects for the Happy Dream Rehab Program. No need for you to be here anymore. You'll be changing rooms. Now come with me. Hey, stop dawdling. Get moving. Huh? See, so we see a glimpse of the other rooms there. So the same thing. Uh, HD rehab program subject number 23, Bor R. Bor R? Boy, Boy R. <laughs> After Boy R was moved to an isolated cell, he came to frequently say nonsense like, I can always hear someone's laughter, or nightmares always follow me. It's clear from this that the experiment caused mental abnormalities in Boy R. Indeed, HD seems too strong for humans. HD, oh, happy dream. Not like high definition. It's uh, HD's happy dream. The successes of this rehabilitation program remain still at zero. So yeah, they've been doing these experiments 
for a long time. I guess Russell, if you didn't get enough guilt, or if you stay stuck in the dream, it just ends up being the same. As well. You've noticed, by the way, in, in true end number two, there's about a bunch of crossed out names, so actually, the normal ending, for most people, I guess, under this experiment, is being stuck in their dream, I guess. You know? Either they die in their dream, maybe they get a game over, you know? And they get stuck in the dream, or otherwise just choose to stay forever. There you go. Let's try getting one more ending, and I... Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens, I guess. Because this time, we will choose to make the experiment a success. Now, whether or not that's a good thing for Russell, we'll see. Russell, you felt sufficient guilt. So now, only one thing to do. What should I do? The fact this world is your dream. And what you did to everyone, you must reveal those truths to just a single person. By doing that, this dream will end. And over in the real world, you will become the first success of the Happy Dream Rehab Program. Now go, Russell. To the person you most want to see one last time, to tell them everything. This is our farewell too. Goodbye, Russell. I... At last, I can return to you. Hmm, interesting. He mentioned before in the other ending that he will accompany us, which is weird. He didn't really accompany us though. I don't know. So the, to the person we most want to... Let me just double check. Like the, most, the person we most want to confess to. I think I know who. Because, you know, according to the guide. But let me just double check. Can I just confess to anyone? Can I just talk to you as well? Okay, same thing. Same dial. I keep going to Gardenia. I don't know. But, uh, okay. So probably visit everyone else. It's probably the same dialogue. What you need to go to... I don't know if it's obvious. I don't know if I would have gotten this from... Uh, without like the guide but uh, i believe basically the person you went to the festival with that's who you talk to so so there's probably many different variations depending on who you want to bring would uh bring or who depending on who you bring with or bring with I, I can't speak depending on who you bring to the festival there's probably a lot of different variations i probably won't show every variation because that's very I don't know, that's, that's a lot of variations, so I'm probably not going to do a million. Because you got to go back to all, like, like a, like a backwards a day, you know, and choose a bunch of different people. I feel like that's too much. I think we're fine just to end it with Yumi, I guess. It's kind of fitting, actually. It's thematic, considering she's the, she's a police officer, right? And we're confessing all her crimes and everything, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway. Howdy, Russell. What's brought you here so late? You got a real pensive look. You want to talk something out, uh, something out, shoot. I got a debt to you, see? I'll help any way I can. Tell the truth about everything. It's also how you, yeah, it's also how you destroy this world. It was one of the rules on the board, actually, in Yumi's place. If you tell the, the citizens about the fact that this is, a, this is a world, then everything will be destroyed. Hmm. This was your dream, and your old man. What's that about? Boy, he got a real sour sense of humor. Can't believe that for a second. Russell, you... It ain't a lie, huh? I really was killed by your old man. Where's this? Ah, uh, that's right. I remember it now. I figured something was weird ever since we chased after that monster threatening the town. No wonder I couldn't take it on alone, as I already lost to it once before. Didn't know nothing, and I tried to act all smart. I'm a fool, really am. Russell, I assume you're telling me this, then you can't stay here no more, right? Well then, if there's one last thing you want done, fire away. I still ain't repaid my debt. Even if all this was a dream, it doesn't change that you help. It can be anything. Don't gotta be shy. Even the real me you knew 
She was like this too, weren't she? Boy, I thought it might come to that. I tell you, Russell. You know, it'll just be cons cons consolidation. Won't be much apology to us. Won't forgive no sins. But you still wanna... Right, I gotcha. I'll do it. Now that I get a good look, you don't look like your old man at all. You're a better man. 100%. Well then, I'm gonna do it. You ready? What's she gonna do, Emma? See ya, Russell. I assume she kissed us on the forehead, I guess. Kinda like a big sister. Too bad she's dead. Too bad everyone is dead. Russell! Congratulations! The seventh day of your happy dream has proven to be a most celebratory day indeed. Now then, regarding the Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program you have been participating in, by offering your own life to a person who you formerly killed, you have succeeded brilliantly. What a truly fantastic thing. Hmm. Well, actually, did she, did she kiss us on the forehead or did she strangle us, I wonder? Because it would be that it would fit, be fitting if she killed us by choking us, but anyway. As the first success in the history of this program, you have been spared a death penalty. What do you think? Aren't you glad? Having been fully rehabilitated, a glittering life now lies ahead of you, full of guilt and regret. Through the Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program, you have been reborn. Your experiences in experiment, speeches about juvenile delinquency, there are many opportunities for you. How exciting. That's all for now. Please wait right there. Officials will come to pick you up. Russell, once again, well done. We wish you the best. Well, so long! Okay. Nope. Oh. Alright, <laughs> it's funny. He's like, you're so happy, but we've only been just a guinea pig this whole time. And also, I was wondering, like, I mean, probably Russell, part of being part of, being part of the experiment as well, probably because, you know, she mentioned, like, juvenile delinquencies, which is funny, but I guess it's because uh, he's a minor, right? So even though all of these murders he's committed, he's technically... Uh, still like try trialed under like a juvie laws or something. So it's probably more forgiving than an actual adult, you know, committing all these murders. And it's probably part of the reason why he's part of this experiment in the first place. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Door won't open. Ah. An empty syringe. I'm sorry, everyone. Even if it was all a dream for my sake, these few days were the most fun, peaceful days I've ever had. Thank you for giving me so many memories. I'm glad I got to meet you all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not very happy. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> we just end up dying anyway. As it turns out, the content warning was correct. We just ended up with a very depressing ending. But I assume this is the canonical ending though. As it, as it turns out, when you uh, make someone relive their sins and make them feel guilty about everything, they're just gonna kill themselves. Hmm. I mean, very similar to, I guess, uh, Mario and Kantara, you know? A murderer who feels guilt, they're just gonna end up killing themselves because of that guilt. And there you go. And this is the. We're getting some actual credits, so I assume this is, again, what's supposed to happen. I guess that's what happens. Yeah, if you try to, like, by the way, yeah, that is true. If you try to inject. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but, like, if you inject yourself with, like, an empty syringe, it's probably a horrible idea. You know, that's how you, you would kill yourself if you do that. You shouldn't do that. Like injecting like pure air into your veins. That's how you die. I don't know if you, if you die that violently. I don't know if that's correct. Is it? I have no idea. I'm not like a doctor, so I wouldn't know what would happen. It's very morbid when you think about it. But hey, I guess that's what happens. There's a password 23939, so I gotta write that down. Let's see here. 
Let me just write that down real quick. Mailbox with a password. So two, three, nine, three, nine. Obtain, oh, a bunch of items. And 100 walnuts, okay. Is that it? Oh, that's just, that's the prize, that's it? Okay, I thought it was gonna be something else. It's actually just a bunch of items, which is nice, but we don't really need it at this point, you know? This is like already the ending point, so I guess we don't need that. So what do I do now? Well, let's see, probably go to... I mean, I didn't realize I would do this as, this early, but I guess I'll just go to, uh, to the resort, I think. There's one thing we can do, like a little bonus thing. Okay, so we go back to Resort Island on day seven, and then we go here on the on the resort, and we can enter a password. So I assume the password, the same password we got before, three nine, allows us to enter over here. So this is an extra little bonus dungeon you can do. I don't know if there's any story that comes with this, but uh, let's see. One of books. One of books. And alright, I guess we're ready to check out this bonus dungeon. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Let's get some info, actually. Selling dungeon info. I went to the answering machine. Where'd he go? Weird. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out. 